Welcome in tonight, Fieldhouse for Lone Peak Rose Basketball on Rewind Sports Network, presented by Hanuware.com. Dusty Lister with you for our every night doubleheader with Lone Peak Basketball. The girls go first, the boys go second, and it is the rivalry through the vineyard. Let's call it the Tippinogas rivalry. Between American Fork and Lone Peak. Lone Peak comes into this one. Two and old region play. Seven and six on the season. And for American Fork, they are seven and six and one and one in region play. Coached by Amy Dorier, one of our absolute favorites and, a, and an analyst during the state basketball tournament for us here on the Rewind Sports Network. The starting lineup for Lone Peak is Sarah Bartholomew, Shawnee Nordstrom, Katie Lawrence, Naya Tonavasa, and Kennedy Woolston. Now we're ready to tip off the best rivalry in Region 3. We'll get through the starters of American Fork. Are you ready? Jumping it up. Let's go. Is number two, Cora Kennington against Sarah Bartholomew. The boys game coming up next. At slated for 7.30. Well, the other night we had the girls game went a little long. Pushed back that boys start till after 8 o'clock, so Right now, we're running 10 minutes late on start time from the boys' JV game. See if we can make up any time in this one. As Sarah tips that ball back to Katie Lawrence, and we'll get things started for Coach Nancy Warner's Lone Peak Knights. Feels like this team is trending in the right direction, finding some help. People aren't sick. Everything's going. Is Katie Lawrence long on the triple. Bartholomew with the offensive board. Sent out to Nordstrom. No. Bartholomew with her second offensive board. Katie Lawrence moved out the ball, blocked away, got it back, can't get it. Now the third offensive rebound, it's Naya Tanuvasa, no. And the board finally cleared by Sarah Mathis. Tanuvasa decided to go back to the triple braided uh, ponytail. This is her traditional look on uh, Tuesday night. She went with the bun. Also an all-state soccer player as well. Send this ball over to Sarah Mathis. Mathis up top to Sabrina Hansen. And now Shawnee Nordstrom called for a foul. First foul of the game for both Shawnee Nordstrom and Lone Peak. Remember, five team fouls would be free throws. Fouls reset at the end of the quarter. So Condi sends that ball over to Brindley Selk. Selk up top of Cora Kennington. Condi will pull for three. No. And offensive rebound to Brindley Selk. Brindley double dribble. Dribbled it once she first got it and then put it back on the floor. Three from Naya Tanuvasa off the mark. It's her own rebound. Send that ball back over to Shawnee Norsham. Reset here for Lone Peak. Katie Lawrence, corner three. No. Rebound to Tanuvasa. Naya and one. That is like five offensive boards in the first quarter for Lone Peak. Tanuvasa with the first points, and she'll go to the line. Looking for the old-fashioned three. Navasa hits that first. Remind you of the scoreboard unofficial. Well, the clock is unofficial. We'll get that synced up. So we can't actually, we're pretty right on. About a half sec difference as Sabrina Hansen gets that ball from Mathis. Mathis to Condi. Oh, maybe. Same foot moved. We'll give that to the officials. Condi feed that ball inside to Hanson. No. And the jump ball possession arrow belongs to American Fort. Two seconds, one second on the shot clock, blocked away by Lawrence, and that is a shot clock violation, and the ball will go to Lone Peak. Yeah. 
5.43 left in the opening quarter. And a cold shooting start for the Knights. Having a lot of offensive boards. Send that ball into the corner to Lawrence. Now into Bartholomew. Sarah, no. And the rebound. Cleared by Britain, by Selk. And now it's Condi on the run. On their side to Mathis. On peak up back in defense. Kennington. Get that ball into Hansen. Now up top to Condi. Feed that back to Hansen. The bump from Lawrence. And there'll be free throws. For Sabrina Hansen. So Coach Amy Dore. Now American Fork. I believe her third season. Amy, a longtime coach at Tim Few, went to the state championship game a couple of times and didn't come away with one I can recall. One of our favorite coaches. As Hanson can't get that one. Oh, our clock didn't fire. I'm, or it didn't set up, so we'll get it reset here momentarily as Sarah Bartholomew makes it a 5 0 start for Lone Peak. And that ball's out of bounds. 448 left in the quarter as Katie Rich comes on for Katie Lawrence. Inbound in to Woolston. Back to Tanuvasa for three. Naya Tanuvasa with six points, her first three-pointer. And an eight-nothing start, and now we have a timeout granted to Coach Amy Dore. Four thirty-three left in the first quarter, and it is Lone Peak leading eight to nothing. You're watching Lone Peak Girls Basketball on the Rewind Sports Network. Four thirty-three left in the half, or probably in the first quarter. Dusty Litzer with you. Apologize for. We apologize for the issue in the first quarter. I didn't catch, or probably early in the first quarter. We had ads running. I was trying to do some technical stuff and forgot to pull it back. It's my fault. So Condi misses on the three. Rebound to Kaylee Rich. Here comes Woolston. Deep three from Shawnee. No, in the rebound. Cleared by American Four. Quickly down the floor. Selk. Yeah, and a foul. No, they didn't call it out of bounds. Okay. So I'm holding his hand up. I might be calling that a shooting foul. It'll be AF ball on the baseline. So Lone Peak opens. Well, they'll have senior night on the last game of the year, if I remember how the schedule goes. Maybe I'm wrong. But at, open out of America, or probably at Pleasant Grove. Home to Sky Ridge, home to AF. They'll be at Lehigh on Tuesday night. I'll be there for the doubleheader. As it'll be Quincy Lewis against his old team as Condi knocks down the long three. Callie Condi. Can't believe she's a senior already. Remember when her brother was a youngster playing for Coach Doug Meacham. As Nordstrom drives in the lane. Shawnee can't get it. Gets her own board. Sends out. Kennedy Woolston short right to Tanuvasa and maybe the most improved player in 6A is Naya Tanuvasa. Been a multiple year starter but this year she's been terrific as Shawnee Nordstrom still off the inbound and puts the lead to nine. Got stuck in the backcourt in the full court press. Got to be careful with that. Got to hurry up the floor. Just got to cross the timeline. Mathis this up ball back out to Hess. Now Kennington. Nice hands by Naya. Here's Sarah Mathis. Sarah down the lane at Bartholomew. Floated up. Oh, it comes off the rebound to Bartholomew. Kennedy gives it up to Naya Tanuvasa. Naya leaves it for Bartholomew. Now Nordstrom. Shawnee on the baseline to 
Kaylee Rich straight away, extra pass. Tanuvasa off on the three board and oh, couldn't get the bucket there for Kaylee Rich. Jump ball. Possession arrow will stay here with, El with Lone Peak. The clock sinks back up. That was number 32, Kaylee Rich. That's her first personal 13 foul. Checking in for the night, number 13. Foul to Kaylee Rich. Katie Lawrence comes back on as Woolston and Sarah Bartholomew will get a break. Smaller lineup on the floor without Sarah on there. And still off the inbound, it's Tanu Vasa blocked away and fouled by Mathis. And that's going to put Naya at the line for two free throws. First personal foul on Sarah Mathis. And the second team foul of the quarter for American Fort. So line back goes Naya Tanuvasa. Mentioned Naya, multiple year starter, been part of all three, or probably the last, she's been part of the last two state championships. Hits them both. Risa first or second. I promise I'm gonna get everything figured out. We've had a lot of little glitches here. The ball inbounded right to Katie Lawrence. Katie blows the layup. Loose ball out of bounds. And Katie's gonna be having nightmares about that one. Timeout on the floor. We'll be right back. Every day we have a choice. To sit and wait, or get up and go. How do you get up and go? Welcome back, Dusty Litster with you. It is Lone Peak leading by 10, 13 to 3. It was Melville sending it back out to Condi. Runner won't go. Melville with the rebound, and she's fouled. Put her at the line. Put her at the line for two free throws. As that foul goes to Kaylee Rich, number two on Kaylee in that 14 foul. So it will be free throws for American Fork for the last minute 52 of the first quarter. And Melville misses on the first. And Lindsay, a junior. First free throw, no good. Time for the second for Melville. A little long on the rebound. Goes to Katie Lawrence. Zuri over to... Naya skip over to Shawnee, open for three. Shawnee Nordstrom, first three of the night, gives her five points in the quarter. There's Melville working on Sarah. Oh, gives that right to Katie Lawrence. Lawrence on the run out. Lawrence with the layup. And Katie able to atone for that missed layup earlier. You know she'll score and they fall right to her. So back down the floor, here's Condi. There's a steal by Naya. Naya on the run out. Naya got the bucket. Was looking for the foul, didn't get that. But she'll take the two. And a lead now 17 points. As we are inside of 45 seconds up in the quarter, Lawrence with the steal and the lay-in. A 19-point lead. Five seconds on the shot clock. About a one second difference between game clock and shot clock. Condi puts it up 
And no, that is a shot clock violation. 1.6 seconds left in the quarter as Woolston comes back on for this final play. Kennedy. Oh, just short at the horn. And now to do it for the first quarter at the end of one, all Lone Peak. The Knights lead 22 to 3. You're watching Lone Peak Girls Basketball on the Rewind Sports Network. Start of the second quarter, Lone Peak leading America Fork 22 to 3. As always, Lone Peak Girls Basketball presented by Honeywear.com. Go to Honeywear.com. You want to become your best self? You look good and feel good. Honeywear.com. Wilson back to Nordstrom. Shawnee again for three short. That ball out of bounds. And we'll go back. We will go with, rather, American Fort. And a foul going to put American Fork at the line. Foul goes to Tanuvasa, number one on Naya. In the first of the quarter. And the end one good. Oh, probably the second one good. 22 to 4. The lead for the Knights. Sarah back to Shawnee. Kennedy ready for three. The ball just didn't want to go down. Bartholomew had the rebound, and there's your. <laughs> dual possession. And the ball goes back to America Fort. 721 left in the half. As Cora Kennington gives out to Hess. Back outside to Hansen. Now Mathis. Seven seconds. Five on the shot clock. Mathis on the drive. Massive force, Mathis force it up. No. Rebound to Bartholomew. Sarah going to pull for three. Long in the rebound. Taken by Kennington. Stolen by Woolston. Back inside to Norsham. Leaves it for Bartholomew. Good ball movement there. Off the turnover. And the lead now to 20. Remember if the game is the 35 point differential to half. We'll have a continuously running clock in the second half. The three on the way is good for Mathis. So that is the magical spread that AF's trying to keep it from happening and Lone Peak looking to get. Tanavasa skipped to Lawrence. Katie back inside to Sarah. No on the left hand. Battle stays with it. Blocked away by Hansen. Try to go inside, stolen away by Shawnee. Oh, she went to wrap around off her foot. There's Hess up top. And Brittany Selk sent it back up to Mathis. 
And the foul to Shawnee Nordstrom. Ladve Holdcraft comes on for Tanuvasa. Mathis, who lost her footing, got that one off. Ambry Jensen checked in for the first time. Mathis can't get around Wilson, and it back out to Condi. Pulls on the three, no, the rebound to Bartholomew. Kennedy to the corner, Lave Holdcraft. Got it to three. Lave Holdcraft. And a lead to 20. Jensen can't get losers. Mathis. Oh, the ball gets poked out of bounds. Do we have a foul or? It is a foul on Sarah Bartholomew. Get the clock re-synced here. Off the inbound. Mathis. Look on hold craft, send over to Jensen. Jensen inside the Melville. And that ball goes out of bounds. We'll get synced back up at 4-12 left in the half. So... Kaylee Rich comes on for Sarah. Off the screen, here's Rich. Back over to Katie Lawrence. She crosses over and goes baseline. She had an opportunity to try to fit that in to Naya. Naya to Kaylee. Now to the corner. Katie Lawrence. 4-3. A great take by Katie Lawrence. It was a nice idea to get that ball to Tonovasa. Naya had to save it in. And a nice job of just being patient and finding the open person. And it's Lawrence knocking down the triple. Condi off on the three and then quickly down the floor. Here comes Woolston to Tonovasa. Kennedy on the give and go, reverses and scores. Nicely done there by Kennedy Woolston. Just a sophomore, Kennedy Woolston. On the angle with Ambry Jensen. Jensen will pull for three. No, Melville tracks down the rebound in the corner. Now Mathis. She'll pull and hit. Nice shot there by Sarah Mathis. And a 2.25 on a rolling clock. Tonda Vasa to the corner. Kennedy Woolston. Long on the three. Rebound to Rich. Kaylee. Er, can't get that one. The guys board. Send out Tanu Vasa again. No. And that board goes off of Woolston and it'll be AF ball. Shawnee and Zuri Nordstrom come on the floor. Zuri just a freshman and Shawnee now in her senior year. Two minutes and ten seconds. Left in the half. Kennington. Outside of Mathis. She just hit that three. He's gonna lob it in to Jensen. Shawnee right there with her. Jensen turn around long and rebound to Rich. Kennedy. 
to Shawnee. Shawnee down the baseline. I'm a little shocked at that one there. It looked like the defender stuck her leg out. I'm not sure what the foul was. And uh, Nancy Warner told her she thinks she wrapped her arm around her, got her with the hook. So three personal fouls on Shawnee Norsham. She comes off the floor. There's a tight handoff to Condi. Up top, Melville. A dangerous dribble. Got to keep your hand on top of that. Jensen. Pirouetting. You know, sends that ball out. Five seconds left in the shot clock. Oh, nearly got the bank to go there from Mathis. Tracked down by Kennington. Bartholomew poked it away and picked up by Tanuvasa. Ahead to Woolston. Kendi saves it to Lawrence. And the bucket. How about the defense leading to offense? Pretty play with the steal and the extra passes. Three from Jensen. Yes. Ambry Jensen for three and a game of 21 points Tonivasa pump it now pull it to short rebound to the cavemen on the run Mathis gives it back to Jensen. A little strong. Rebound here to Lawrence. Got time to score. Three seconds. Two. Tanovasa at the horn. And that'll do it for the first half. We go to the break. It is Lone Peak 34 and the American 4 Cavemen 13. You're watching Lone Peak Girls Basketball on the Rewind Sports Network presented by Hanuware.com. Every day we have a choice. To sit and wait, or get up and go. How do you get up and go? Hey, welcome back to Lone Peak, where we just honored the 1999 state championship girls basketball team. Good year to be the girls athletes at at. Uh, Lone Peak in 1999, their swimming and track team also won state championships that year, but it was only their second year of existence. Remember Lone Peak and Timpanogos, Fremont all came in in 1997. I think Riverton as well. I only say that because all the gyms are the same. You kind of know the era when the schools entered by this, the gym style. As that first half was all Lone Peak. Leading by 21 points. Again, at the end of the quarter, or at any point in this quarter at, before dead ball, they get up by 35 points. The clock will continually run as Naya Tanuvasa gets all the way to the rim. And I mentioned Naya, and we, Dane Stewart and I talked about this on our video that we just released. Go check it out. Our girls' video just came out today. Uh, we talked about Naya. She probably the most improved player we've seen. As uh, on the drive, the bucket and the foul is going to put Sabrina Hansen at the line. Second personal foul on Katie Lawrence. As the free throw was good. As Lawrence hands back to Woolston, now in the corner to Tanuvasa. Naya. Got free, steps through. The floater short, board and put back there for Sarah. Then Bartholomew, who's had back to back double digit first halves, didn't need to do that in the first half of this one. Now to six points on the night for Sarah. To the corner with Mathis. 
Now Kennington over to Hansen. This is Selk. Selk thought she had a call. She did. Back to back and ones for American Ford. I'm sure Amy was talking about having pride. And coming into the second half, not getting put into the, the mercy clock. The end one doesn't go. Ball was free, taken by Hansen. Hansen sends back out. Mathis off on the three. The rebound tipped back to Hansen. Maybe he couldn't get that point blank shot to go. She's saying she got hit on the head. An official timeout. This is what's different between the girls' game and the guys' game. If the officials have stopped that in the next game coming up, the boys' game, one of the coaches would be freaking out because it should be a free runner until the ball goes back to the team with the injured player. But girls' coaches at every level, no matter sport, if it's basketball, softball, volleyball, eh, I'll take it back on volleyball. Basketball, softball, they're a little calmer than the guys. I feel bad for our volleyball officials this spring with the boys' volleyball becoming a, uh, an official sport. We'll have a state championship and everything this year. Sabrina Hansen. Sabrina Hansen comes off the floor. Okay. And the Knights will come down here in the backcourt. 6.28 left in the third. Norsham with some space. Going all, yeah, I'll take the block on that one. We're going to try to get Shawnee her fourth foul. Remember, Shawnee Nordstrom had three first half fouls. They're going to try to get number four, put the officials in a spot to get her to the bench in the third. Wolston back up top, Tanuvasa. Inside to Sarah, finds Kennedy on the baseline. She blows the layup. Bartholomew there for another stat-stuffing bucket there for Sarah Bartholomew. Gets the board and the bucket. The lead to 22. But could have been traveling on that one. Not because she went down, but because she came back up. Tipped on the hand, tipped off the ball. Here comes Woolston. Kennedy up top to Katie Lawrence. Lawrence gonna drive, blocked away by Kennington. And another loose ball bucket to Sarah Bartholomew. And Sarah committed to BYU the back in the summer. She worked so hard last year to try to get that Division I offer. They were, were coming, and all of a sudden they kind of came rapid fire, got the one she wanted, and the why they then committed is Cora Kennington gets all the way to the rim to score. And Lone Peak has been able to get the lead past 22 points. There's Tanu Vasa on the drive. Naya sends out to Woolston. Back rims the three. And the board gets to Mathis. Mathis on the drive. Short. And the rebound to Tanu Vasa. Nordstrom pumped the mid-range. Put up the float or maybe tipped there by Kennington. And a loose ball taken by Mathis. And I think we're going to get a timeout. Yeah, timeout to Coach Dore. 4.33 left in the third. You're watching Lone Peak Girls Basketball on the Rewind Sports Network. Every day we have a choice. To sit and wait. Or get up and go. How do you get up and go? <laughs> Inbound into Condi with some pressure. Ah, clock wasn't moving. Now it is. 427. Left in the quarter. Kennington dropping into Melville. Melville can't get loose. That's three seconds in the key. She's still yet to leave the key. Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame her. Four fifteen left. Right. 
Shawnee drop it inside to Sarah. No. Saved by Zuri Nordstrom. Tanu Vasa down the lane. Naya to the rim. And wave off the bucket. Chatting violation. One extra step there. Pass working on Shawnee. Sends it back out to Mathis. Now Melville on the reach on Rich. As Kennedy Wilson comes back on. As the PA man said Kaylee Wilson. Kaylee in the building, just not on the basketball floor. Kaylee's across the way with a big smile on her face. Drive, Bartholomew with the block. Loose ball, still back to American Fork, and then stolen away by Zuri. Here comes Zuri Nordstrom. Zuri ahead, all beautiful. Ball to Tanavasa. And Naya Tanavasa lays that in. We apologize. We got some fans arriving. We got in the way of the shot there, but that was a beautiful pass from Zuri Nordstrom. A well anticipated ball right on the mark. To lead to 24. The three on the way. Good by Condi. Connie with six points, both three pointers. Tanavasa, Nordstrom over to Rich. Kaylee skip it to Tanavasa, angled three in and out. Rebound to Sarah Bartholomew. And Sarah continues her strong third quarter. And the lead to 23, and Bartholomew now with 12 points. Has eight in the quarter. Pole, back rim, Bartholomew with the rebound. High post to Bartholomew, lob it into Kennedy, send it back out to Rich. Kaylee on the drive in the lane, folded up, too strong. Rebound to Melville, you're gonna have a reach in foul on Sarah Bartholomew. It'll be Sarah's second personal foul. That'll be the fifth team foul. And we'll walk to the other end of the floor for two free throws. There aren't one-on-ones or thing of the past. Only two-shot fouls now on the, the bonus. If you're tuning in for the boys' basketball game, that does not start till 7.30 or until after this one concludes. 144 left in the third quarter. Timeout on the floor. You're watching Lone Peak Girls Basketball, presented by HanuWear.com. Every day we have a choice to sit and wait or get up and go. How do you get up and go? So Melville at the line for two free throws. Well, a minute 44 left in the third quarter. Again, the boys game. If you're tuning in for the boys game, you're not watching the wrong feed. We're not showing old game. The boys game will not start till 7.30. And with where this game is right now, we'll probably be a little bit later unless we hit the mercy clock. But the first free throw, no good. And Melville with one more. Back rim that one as well. Rebound to Hanson, and Hanson can't get that one to go. Rebound 
to Bartholomew. Nordstrom down the lane. Shawnee fouled. The foul will go to Mathis. It puts Shawnee Nordstrom at the line to shoot two free throws. Again, it'll take quite the run from Lone Peak to get this to the 35-point margin that it would take to Shawnee got both. Took out 47-23. Hanson hands off to Condi. Condi open for three, short. And we have a foul on the three. The foul to Zuri Nordstrom. It's going to put Condi at the line to shoot three free throws. Cali, six points on the evening on two threes. Got the first. And you see her brother, Spencer Condi, on the bench. Talk about him playing for Coach Beecham as a three-year starter. As Tony Vasa comes back on. And Condi goes three for three. Down in front. Zuri to Wilson, now to Tanuvasa. Now in the corner. Zuri back to Naya. Turns back in, no. A little following. I'm at the end of the defensive pressure. I thought that double would come down. It didn't. Now on the run. Pass going to hit Cole on the transition three. And Zuri Nordstrom has found them back to back three point attempts. Going to put Lump, or probably American Fork back at the line to shoot two. A young freshman you know, going through a little bit of growing pains. First free throw, good. And the second good as well. They're shooting free throws at a high level at AF. Lone Peak lead to 18 as Tanu Vasa gets the easy two. And a timeout for the injured player for American Fort. Oh, she must have turned her ankle. Math is a little slow to get up or come off the floor. Remember we had that injured player earlier tonight. Well, it was actually in this half. They stopped the, the possession. Stopped the fast break. Now when that, they correctly handled it. And it was a more seasoned official that let the, that possession run before stopping it. Where the one that got stopped was a little younger, less experienced official. Saw a girl grabbing her head and stopped it. So maybe that is part of it too. So Ambry Jensen checks in. As we have 25 and a half seconds left in the third quarter. Again, if you're tuning in for the boys stream, that game will not start till 7.30. So you're not late, we're not showing an old game. 
The, the boys' game will start after this one. I only bring that up because a couple, I think it was last week, we were doing a game where it was like, you're showing an old one. It's like, well, it's just the girls' game hasn't finished yet. So we'll have the fourth quarter, and then they'll give a, a little bit of time for a warm-up, and then we'll be ready to go. This is the longest injury timeout that I can recall on a twisted ankle. Usually it's get the player off the floor and go. I didn't, we don't have an official, or pardon me, we don't have a timeout because Lone Peak has a screen that shows the length of the timeout. <laughs> oh, there's blood. Okay. Remember, Mathis started the game with a bloody nose, and it must have got bumped and reopened. And Ryan Hill, the crew. Put Braden Walker to work. The athletic director here at Lone Peak High School helps us get everything set and ready to go. One of the best. Easy to work with. Braden, always appreciate him. But that was the delay. So, Lone Peak will inbound. Lone Peak will inbound. Check that. American Fork will, leave, will inbound because it was a. She was down when they scored. Expecting a pretty good crowd here tonight. First region matchup for both teams. And of course, is a big rivalry is when Lone Peak was open. Pulled the lot from the AF boundary, AF Pleasant Grove. AF had to give up Alpine and Highland, and PG gave up Cedar Hills. Condi on the step back, no, and the rebound to Sarah. Two seconds. And not going to get a shot off. That won't count. And that'll do it for the third quarter. We go to the fourth. The 20-point lead for Lone Peak. Knights lead, 49-29. You're watching Lone Peak Girls Basketball. Every day we have a choice. To sit and wait. Or get up and go. How do you get up and go? Start of the fourth quarter, you're watching Lone Peak Girls Basketball, presented by HanuWare.com. Dusty Lister with you. Again, if you're tuning in for the boys' game, America Fork versus Lone Peak, that'll be coming up next after this quarter ends. We'll have a warm-up period for the boys, and then it will be game time. Shawnee Nordstrom with the steal. Shawnee sat with foul trouble, has three personal fouls. Didn't play a lot of that third quarter. Saving her for the fourth. Get up to Katie Lawrence. Katie over to Kennedy. Shawnee Nordstrom. Wedgies the three. She's a <laughs> she felt embarrassed by that. We had a wedgie free throw the other night, which I had never seen. I didn't know it was possible. We need to get Tyler Rawson down there and go get that ball. Sarah. Oh, couldn't quite get it. That ball is stuck. There we go. <laughs> that yeah, it was a uh, it was a girls game on Tuesday, right? I, our days all blend together. How many games we do? But it was a free throw that got wedged on the left side of the rim. I had never seen it. Kennedy Wilson short on the three. The rebound to Mathis. Mathis give it up to Hess, gets it back. Trying to get that ball inside, slapped away by Sarah. Loose ball, jump ball. The possession arrow belongs to American Fort. Would not fire. There's a steal by 
Tanuvasa. Oh, wow, this gets rolled up on. Gets that to Kennedy. Wilson misses on the three. Katie Lawrence in a foul or a jump ball. So it's night basketball. Shawnee triggers into Katie Lawrence. Shawnee to the corner to Tanu Vasa. Naya to Bartholomew and Sarah. Talking about a slow start in the first half. Sarah now with 14 points, leading all scores. High post to Kennington. Kennington at Lawrence. No, the rebound to Bartholomew. On the push now, Katie Lawrence. Over to Shawnee. To the corner, Tanu Vasa. Shawnee back over to Lawrence. Katie open for three. No, and the rebound. And a foul will be number three on Sarah Bartholomew. And the first foul of the quarter. As Kaylee Rich comes on for Katie Lawrence. Condi to Mathis. Now Kennington. Condi back to Kennington along the baseline. Nice pass by Condi. Let her right to the rim. Tanu Vasa hands it back to Rich. Into the corner, Kennedy Woolston off on the three. Loose ball. Was taken by Bartholomew initially. He's taken away by Kennington. Well, and she threw it away. Thought she was leading Condi up the floor. 5.15 left in the fourth. As Selk, Selk uh, replaces Hess for the cavemen. Nordstrom in the lane. Got it. Shawnee now with 11. Oh, nice hand. Oh, we're going to get a reach foul on Shawnee Norsham, be number four. And it's Tony Vasa. Traveling violation. Lone Peaks had this game in hand. He's never been able to just get on the run after getting up 22 points to try to get into the 35-point area. Timeout on the floor with the cavemen. We'll be right back. You're watching Lone Peak Rose Basketball, presented by Hauntware.com. Inbound into Kennington, and Kennington scores. So a very good job out of the break. Get two by Coach Amy Dorier. Send that ball to the corner. Wide open is Kennedy Woolston. And Kennedy Woolston. Again, I'm in a quiet night for Kennedy. Knocks down a three. Got five points on the evening. Oh, Ika's in the building tonight, too, as there's a foul up top. Oh, 
sad thing with Ika is I'm seeing. I think I'm seeing her wear the Idaho school that wears blue. I didn't realize she went up there. It was just inbound inside and the bucket to Brittany Selt. Apologize to the clock. Miss half of my end. We had a foul with 3.55 left in the fourth. Foul goes on Mathis. The second team foul, third on Mathis. Try to get that ball inside the north. I'm not sure why she went to save that. That ball was off of American Fork, and the young freshman is trying to keep the possession. Save that ball into AF. Pull for a deep three. Mathis off the mark. And on the run with Wilson. Wilson ahead to Tanuvasa. Naya wrap it around. And then we'll have the foul to Kennington. That will be the second personal foul on Kennington. And the second team foul of the quarter. Probably third team foul in the quarter. So both teams with three team fouls. Two time, or probably four timeouts left in Lone Peak. One left to America Fort. Possession arrow belongs to the Knights. The final 3.30 of the ball game. Again, the boys game coming up next. Well, the conclusion of this one, we'll have a little bit of a warm-up. And then it'll be the boys game as Nordstrom is in the lane and scores. As Lone Peak boys are going to look to go to 3-0 and in region play. AF is 1-1. They lost that game when Cooper Lewis had 47 points against American Fork. Last week is inside and scoring Sabrina Hansen. Lone Peak 2 0 with wins over Pleasant Grove and Sky Ridge. Inside Zuri Nordstrom, no rebound to Kaylee Rich. We have a foul on the rebound. That'll be the last foul to give. Kennington picks up the foul. Her third personal. Lave Holdcrafts are up. Bartholomew, come on. And that shot does not go off the inbound. Let's be going side of two minutes and 40 seconds left in the Ball game that deep three does not go. The rebound to Bartholomew. And on the other end, Katie Lawrence. Beautiful find by Kennedy Woolston. And the three. Brittany Self knocks down the triple. Again, we'll have a warm-up period for the boys game, and then we'll be ready to go. They actually might be close to that 7.30 start. See how much time they put on. Is Got a foul up top, and it'll be free throws. So Kaylee Rich go to the line to shoot two free throws. Is that the fifth team foul of the quarter against American Fort? Kaylee misses on that one. It's one more. And then Kaylee goes one of two. Ah, clock didn't start. There we go. 151 and on the take we had an inadvertent buzzer and the foul gonna put Hansen at the line for two free throws. Sabrina 
got to love when the Stanley makes it to the uh, to the arena. I'm not judging. My daughters have the exact same Stanley that uh, Sarah Mathis had to get her drink from. Oh, we're going to use a Gatorade bottle. Give me my Stanley. The three from Condi. No. And loose ball off the rebound. It's Kennington jumping it and missing it. Holdcraft comes in for the rebound. Katie Lawrence in the corner to Katie Kennedy Woolston. Kennedy dropping inside to Bartholomew. Sarah scores. Not going to give the foul call or a whistle to the to the diving player. We go inside of one minute left in the fourth quarter. All nights in this one. Again, the boys' game will start momentarily. We'll stop the stream and then restart it almost immediately. We get everything reset on the scoreboards and such. So Lave Holdcraft picks up the foul. Back rimming the first free throw is Sabrina Hansen. Hansen has six points on the evening. And back rims the second, so stay at six. Katie Rich to Holcraft down to Woolston. Kennedy will pull for three and hit. We'll lead to 25. Shot clock turned off and we had a timeout to get an injured player off the floor. Amy is fired up. Amy thought that he should have seen that it hit her in the head. Same with off arm. She's mad. Coach Dore was frustrated. She thought they had missed it. Off arm, catch a player in the face. So officials got their piece from uh, Coach Amy Dore. So time out on the floor. Get you ready for that boys game. American Four coming in eight and seven. They played a tough donk region schedule. A couple of national games they looked very good in. One and one on the year. Lone Peak coming in eight and six, two and zero oh in region play. Isaac Staley being back is a big thing for Lone Peak. Their best player. And I think the other part they play a little more calm when Ike's on the floor. They drop that ball to Hanson. Hanson back out to Condi for three short. Rebound to Hanson. Back out to Condi again. And she got it that time. There's Lawrence back over to Rich. Four, three, two, and one. And that will do it. Night 66, Caveman. 44. Your Heineman Associates player of the game. I'm going to go to Sarah Bartholomew. Sarah had a slow first half, but the second half was outstanding. And as tonight's cruise to this one over American Fork. Again, the final score Lone Peak 66, American Fork 44. For Gavin Atkinson, I'm Dusty Litster. Thanks for joining us and for watching Lone Peak Girls Basketball presented by Hanuware.com. Boys game coming up next.